Well, I'm not sure why, but the camera seems to shut off by itself every so long. So anyway, after you get done, then you would come back up here and you would work across the other end, flip it back, flip it forward, and now the long edge is against this edge of your quilt, and you would sew it down, keeping it lined up. And because it's small, it fits in your hand, you can grip it and keep it from going back and forth like a regular ruler might do. Then when you get down to the other end, it takes just a few seconds on each side as you quilt a row, quilt the row first, then stitch that section of the binding on one side, come over, stitch it on the other side. Do that each row as you advance, and when you get to the end, you do your flip fold in the corner, go across. I leave about eight inches in the middle, and I leave the joining of the ends and the finish sewing that little part down for the customer, unless the customer has also agreed to pay me to do the hand sewing, in which case then I would get out my machine and attach the final end. That's about it. If um, When I get a chance, I'll have a professional help me do a better video, but hopefully this will help show you how this tool is used and basically how it attaches the binding, keeping it nice and flat, doing smaller sections at a time. You don't have the ripple, and when you take it off the frame, you should have a nice flat binding if you haven't pulled and tugged stretched your binding as you go. So that's it. I hope you enjoy the tool. Send me some feedback. I'd like to hear how you're doing with it.